Happy Monday, happy Monday, happy Monday. Welcome, welcome, welcome. See all you guys popping in. Oh my goodness, Kwame, <laughs> you are here right on time. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you for being a, a fan. Import Media. Uh, keep praising him. <laughs> yes. Jonathan, what's good? Hey, listen, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, I appreciate everybody who's, that's coming in, and and I have regular family. Good to see you guys popping in, but also for you newcomers, welcome to my YouTube channel. And you caught me lotioning my ashy hands, yeah, mm -hmm. had to get them all greased up so y'all don't talk about me too badly. But anyway, um, welcome to the channel. Good to see you. Please, please, hey, Dante. Let me know where you're viewing from. Even if you're a regular, please, because everybody's not regular. Let me know where you're viewing from. Um, I love to see people from all over the world that joins in. Um, it's good to have you. If you're a newcomer, please, 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 please uh, subscribe to my channel um, and also share it. And you can like it as well. Lawrence, I see you. What's happening? Um, Herbie, what's good? Please let me, everybody that's, that's saying hello, everybody please let us know where you are viewing from. Oh, Southern Indiana, Sac Sacramento, California, Indianapolis. Where else? What? Who else we have on here? Right now I have 16 people. We're going to cover some great stuff today. We want to talk about, like I mentioned last week, court extensions. That means seven, nines, eleven. And 13s and what do they mean um, how do we how do we approach it and why is it important for us to know this stuff Columbia South Carolina Michigan Michigan Durham James what's happening you right around the corner okay advanced borough North Carolina Gary Indiana yes that's right that's what we're gonna be covering so hang around because we're gonna we're gonna discuss the use and how they work. A lot of you guys are already using them. Chris, what's happening? Newport News, good to see you. Um, now that we're early here, hey, what's going on, Spartanburg, South Carolina? Love to see uh, them Southern folks up in the house, South Carolina. Um, I had a great weekend. Um, it was amazing. I had such a, a pleasure meeting uh, a lot of people in Southern... Uh, Southern Florida, South Beach area. I was down in Miami, Fort Lauderdale Saturday, and I met some of you guys. I met some of you guys. Hey, Queen, good to see you. I met some of you guys in South Florida. I actually bumped into, I mean, physically bumped into someone. He turned around and looked. He said, oh my God, it's Kevin from YouTube. I said, oh Lord, I live in YouTube now. <laughs> but it was good to see him and meet him 
And so many of you, as I travel every now and then, I'll, I'll go out and do some traveling. I'll run into you guys and you say, hey, I, I hadn't had the pleasure of meeting you. But listen, I'm as excited to meet you as you are to meet me because I, I, I count it a privilege and honor to be able to share this time with you. Um, it means a lot to me. You don't have to. Time is one thing you can't get back. Um, but I'm glad that you're here. We have 20 people on. Now, I got to address something real quickly. I, I have to address this very quickly. Hey, what's going on? Lafayette, Louisiana. Good to see you. I have to address something that, that really is pressing my heart, okay? And I'm I want everybody to know that I am truly praying for you. My heart goes out and I'm I'm praying for all of those people. Um are y'all with me? I'm praying, praying, because I, I I'm a praying man. So I wanted to let you know that I'm praying for all of the Dallas Cowboy fans. I just want y'all to know that up front. I'm, I know that y'all are depressed. I don't want you guys committing suicide or anything like that because it's only a game. But I'm, I'm letting you know. <laughs> I'm letting you know right here and right now. I'm praying for you. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted y'all to know that I am indeed praying for all of you Dallas Cowboy fans who thought y'all was going to the Super Bowl. Yes, you are going to the Super Bowl, but you're going to have to buy a ticket to go to the Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. Listen. <laughs> I mean it. Uh I love to have um I love to have fun with you guys. But thank you again for coming on. Let's get into um the information. Um <laughs> I know, right? Let's get into some good information. Um if you are new to the channel and if you have not, I encourage you to go back to some of the early videos to the early YouTube clips because what we did we, we talked about the major scale and how the major scale is the heartbeat and the nucleus of all music and in order for you to really understand um, chord extensions and stuff like that you have to understand the ma uh, major scale as I said oh, the major scale is the heartbeat is the center the nucleus it's the everything it's the Sun and music okay um, and without the Sun you'll be in darkness so if you have not already I, I encourage you to go back to the um, YouTube clip or YouTube video um, talking about the major scale because we broke down the major scale we talked about um, major triads we talked about minor diminished and augmented um, these triads and now that we're going to be getting into um, the chord extensions, you won't be able to get this really until you understand this. Okay? So please go back. <laughs> James, stop. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm done with that. I'm, I'm stopping. I don't want you to... <laughs> we all could get off into the tangent, okay? <laughs> uh, all right, let's talk about... Um, Trey, I'm glad that you enjoy my playing and I really appreciate that. I really mean that. Um, but right now what we're going to do is we're going to focus on how you can become a better player by understanding this information. Um, knowing how chord extensions work will allow you to do extra stuff that you love to hear and love you f love to feel, um, the different movements you can use by knowing these extended chords. Okay. All right. So we said chord extensions. We said 7, 9, 11, and 13. Okay? 7, 9, 11, and 13. Can anyone tell me um, what those, those does those numbers have in common? Alicia, what's happening? The Bay Area. Good, 
Good to see you. Thank you for joining us. Um, 7, 9, 11, and 13. What does those numbers have in common? 7, 9, 11, and 13. Come on, help me out. 7, 9, 11, and 13. Okay, work with me because I can't be on all night tonight. We have other stuff we got to take care of and I want to get all of this in. So please respond, 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 respond. I want to make sure that we're here. Um, that's, I'm not thinking dominant. I'm not thinking dominant. That's good though. That's good. I'm thinking something else. Um, not going there yet, Queen. I know you You on it. I know you on it, Miss Queen. Mr. Ray, good to see you. Ah, no, just numbers. Not reference to a scale. Not reference to anything musical. Come on. N not nothing musical. They're, there it is. They're all odd numbers. They are all odd numbers. They are all odd numbers. 7, 9, 11, and 13. Okay? Knowing the major scale, right? You know it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And seven. When we leave seven, that's right, odd numbers. So when we leave the, the seven, the seventh degree of the major scale, and we move above the seven, Troy, please don't go try to go in front because I don't want everybody's not there where you are. So please try to, to refrain from answering stuff ahead of time. And not that you're wrong, not that you're wrong at all but I just want to kind of keep things balanced so we don't confuse everyone, okay, or someone. Because I know that you may be a little bit more advanced than some of my beginners, but I want them to be able to get that, okay? So we, we're going to move out of pace. I appreciate you, though, Troy, for real. All right, so they are odd numbers. When we move from seven, from seven, if we wanted to move higher and we wanted to go higher and keep the sevens in or or whatever we need to add numbers to it so what happens is we go from seven to a nine to eleven and then thirteen okay now as troy mentioned way ahead of time <laughs> the nine is the same as the two okay so if we were playing, we like C, right? We we all like C. Most guitar players, we, we love to jump on that open C. They call, some of them call cowboy chords and all that stuff. But if we're in the key of C and we do our major scale, let me turn my guitar on. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then back to the one, right? And I'm going to try to change my view. Here we go. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then back to the one. Okay? So the nine essentially would be the two. The two is the same thing as the nine. So the, the nine, if I was in the key of C, the nine would be what note if i'm in the key of c the nine would be which note talk to me the nine would be which note if i'm in the key of c what is the nine give me what the nine is i'm glad you got it jay it would be d very good d that's it queen It would be D. That's good. You guys are getting it. Be D. It would be D. D. Not a minor so much. It's just a D. The two would be D. So if I was to play a, a minor seven chord, right? A D or C minor seven chord. Okay? That's a C minor seven chord. Right? C minor seven. And let me change the view because I want you to see this up close. 
Hey, Patrick. Good to see you, man. So, we're looking at the C minor, minus 7. And if I added the D to it, that would make that chord a C minor 9. Why is it the minor 9? Because that D is in it. There we go. We extended a chord and we added that, that 9. So we have a C minor 9. Why we went from C minor 7 and we go, we want to extend the chord and we go to the 9. So we have the, like when we hear guys play that kind of stuff. Good evening. Good to see you, Miss Minnie. Um, we hear, we, that's right. That's the way to write it. Uh, keep pressing, keep praising. He got that C minor 9. So we have the C minor 9, and a lot of times we hear it used, and we don't really realize that what it is. Um, we go, we hear, and that's playing that C minor 9. See? That's the adding that 9. So we go from a C minor 9, a C minor 7, to a C minor 9. So even playing that, that minor nine, right? So if we went uh, see I went back to and I went from a C minor nine to a C sharp minor nine and then came back. See that? Chicago Willie Spells. What's good? What's good? Good to see you. So we are going. C minor 7, and we're doing a little walk. See that? <laughs> yep, so we're able to take that C minor 7, right? That's the C minor 7, and play up to a C minor 9. And we can use that because I like the minor nines. I play them all the time. I like the playing. Stuff like that, okay? Now, that's a minor nine. So if I was playing a 2-5-1 in the key of C, and I wanted to use just a, a nine chord, not a minor nine so much, I can use something like this. I can go and that's a D9 <laughs> so I can use that 9 chord and, and we have the, the, the 2 which is in there see that which is the 9 D9 a G, uh, a G13, but we can play a sharp set, a uh, sharp seven, sharp five, a seven sharp five, and then go back to your your major seven chord. So that's a major a nine, um, right? This is a minor nine, and then we can even come back to the one. So that nine plays a a different role, and it works. In different places but knowing how to place it is as important as knowing what it is and how it works now I'm gonna ask a couple of questions real quick ask a few questions 34 folks on here now there's a couple of folks I don't want to answer I don't want <laughs> I don't want Patrick answering because he is a guru and I don't think I want I don't want somebody else on here that's real quick. Troy, I don't want you to answer this, Troy, or Patrick. And I'm sorry, I'm not trying to discriminate, but I know you guys know this stuff. 
So I'm, I want to catch these people who may not understand um, the nines. I want to make sure they get it before we move on to the 11 and 13s, okay? Excuse me. Okay. So if I'm in a key, if I'm in the key of F, what is the nine? If I'm in the key of F, what is the nine? What's the nine? If I'm in the key of F, what is the nine? Come on, y'all. Come on, let's see who, who gets it quickly. If I'm in the key of F, all right, one answer there. I'm not going to say if it's right or wrong because I want to see if anybody else. Come on. Many says, many says G. Look at everybody popping up. Queen, boom, boom, boom. Alicia, boom. Dante, yes. <laughs> Kwame, if I'm in F, if I'm in F, what is the nine? What is the nine? Kwame, don't let me have to come to Indiana. To uh, Indiana, don't. Let, I'm not coming. It's too cold. Hey, Samuel, that's good. What's good? So, <laughs> if I'm in a key of F. What is the nine? Right. You got to give me not a chord, just a note. Donald Chapman, if I'm in the key of F, what is the nine? That's right. That's right. Come on with it. So if I'm in the key of F, the nine is G. It's not actually a chord, Kwame. Um, it's the note that I was looking for. And you said G sharp minor nine, and I'm going. I'm going to say uh, uh, uh. Right. So the nine would be G. The nine would be G. Donald, is something wrong with your keyboard? Because I seen an H up there. I think you touching you you hitting the the the, the notes, the numbers or the the letters closest to G. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's G. Jimi Hendrix. Woo, he done woke up. My goodness. All right. Um, if I'm in a key of A flat, what is the nine? If I'm in a key of A flat, what is the nine? Donald keep hitting H. Uh, I have no clue. If I'm in a key of A flat, what is the nine? What's the nine? Come on, y'all. Come on. Come on quickly. Somebody said B flat. B flat, Queen said. B flat. B? Come on. So we got a B. We have B flat. Many. Woo! Elysia said B flat. Samuel said E. B flat. Samuel, didn't I... Didn't we talk this weekend? I'm sure that it was you that I met this weekend. Wasn't it you, Samuel? B flat, B flat. Look like the the majority of you guys are saying B flat. So if I'm playing A, A flat, if I'm playing an A flat, then the nine is B flat, which is correct. Why? Because it's the same thing as the two. Willie Spells, good stuff, man. You guys are getting this. This is really good. It's really good. And so it's important. So when we play in these chords that you understand exactly why are they called this, that, or the other. So you'll be able to move and play that. Okay, Sam. See that? So I'm playing. That's it. That's it. So all it is to it is when we when you hear someone say something about a nine, all it is is adding that second degree above the seven, which is the nine. Okay? So that's the nine. Now I'm gonna ask a question um, and see if anybody there and anybody can answer this, okay? 
So if I'm in the key of A, what is the 11? What is the 11? If I'm in the key of A, what is the 11? What is the 11? If I'm in the key of A, what is the 11? Boy, look at look at Queen. Look at look at Jonathan. Look, look at Patrick. Look at Kwame. Qu you redeem yourself, sir. Alicia, Dante. Come on, Haas. Donald. Keep you said C sharp. Many said D. Okay. It's actually D. Why is it D? Because it's the same thing as the four. It's the same thing as the four. Okay, so when you hear someone says 11 chord, that means it has the four note. If I'm in, if I'm in um, A, that means the four is D. And see, understand, this is why I encourage those who may not understand what we're talking about to go back and, and watch the video of me talking about the major scale because this all lines up. The 11 is the same thing as the four, okay? the same thing so if I play this chord it has that D in it right see that that's that's have that 11 there's 11 chord okay because it has that that four up top it has that four up top so now we have the 9 the 11 because we all know the seven. Who anybody needs me to go over the seven? Because I think most of you got the seven because you know the major scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Thing about seven, I'm gonna say this real quickly. The thing about the seven, remember this. The seven is always before the root note. The seven is be always before the root note. Something to remember. Yep. Um, Samuel, go to my video on, or my YouTube video on the major scale. Go to my video on major scale, um, and you'll get it. So everybody remember this, the root, the note before the root, half step below, I should say, right before. So if I'm in C, the uh, seven would be B. If I'm in D, and I'm not talking chords, Mr. Red. I'm just talking about the notes itself. Um, and you can also go to my website. You can go to my website and it's there as well. Um, uh, Samuel, you'll be able to pick up, because I do a, a mini course, free mini course, with um, real basic information for you to be able to, to, um, to pick up some of this stuff. So, um, Mr. Red, I'm not talking about type of chords because... A seven could be major. It could. It depended on how the song is written. I'm just talking about the note itself. The note itself is always the note right before the root note. If I'm in E, is E flat or D sharp? If I'm in F, it would be E. Okay, Lawrence, good to see you, man. Um, make sure you come back. So the seven is always the note right before. The root note. So if I play an A major seven chord, right? That's the major seven chord, right? A major seven, right? So what is what is the seven in that chord? What's the seven in that chord? What's the seven in that chord? I'm asking, what is that seven? If in the A major seven, what is the seven? What note is the seven? A flat. G sharp, G 
So I said G, A flat, A flat, G sharp, G sharp, G sharp, G sharp. Most of you guys have it, G sharp. So, cause the seven is, right? That's the seven. That's it. That's it, Miss Minnie. Harold, you got it. G sharp or A flat. Yes, Kwame. So when you have the one, three, five, right, and the A flat, that's the seven. So the note before, the note before the root note. Hey, what's happening? Christian, good to see you. So the note before the root note. Good evening, Lady J. Good to see you. Glad you're at the command center. Um, the note right before the root note is the seven. Okay. The two, the two is the nine. So the second degree is the same thing as a nine as long as you're going above the seven. Okay. You don't want to say, okay, I'm playing the two. And the two would be, but the two above the seven is the nine. Okay, so now we have the major seven and we have the minor nine. So let me see. Okay, if I play this right here. What am I playing? Tell me the chords I'm playing. Playing this, let me go up close and personal, get to the fretboard so you can guys can see. But I want you to hear and talk about the notes, the, the extensions. So what am I playing? What am I playing? Give me, give me those chords. Give me those chords. Cause I want, I want to see if y'all have the extensions. What are the chords? What are the chords? Come on, call them out. Call them out. Let's hear them. Or well, let me see them. I can play that, but I'm not. I just want to do these two chords. What do we have? What do we have? What do we have? Somebody said, <laughs> Patrick, I knew you were going to answer. What do we have, y'all? C, Dante, there we go, there we go, now, we, we got some, we got some good stuff, that's right, hey Rudy, what's good, Remarcus, good, yes, so we use two extensions. What what do we use? The seven and the nine. We use the seven and nine. We use the the A major seven. We use the B minor nine. B minor nine. That's right. And A major seven. Now, I added this E, and that changed the chord, but I'm not going there yet. 
Well, that, that turn is it around. And I can also use that minor nine. Um, let's see if I can do that. I can use it like that too. Um, yeah. it because we have which notes in there okay we said a major seven and b minor nine so what are those extended notes up in there the major seven note and the minor nine note what are they give me the notes i know that we have the chords now tell me the notes what's the seven note and what's the nine note what's the seven note and which is the nine note and why and how, you know, that's important. So, you know, it's good to, to kind of know, but you want to know because you want to be able to use these things. You want to be able to play those things. And when you play them, you understand. So the seven is what note and the nine is what note? The seven, the A major seven, the seven is which note and the minor nine, what note is that nine? Come on, help me out, y'all. Seven is A flat. The nine is... Boy, you know what? You on fire, Miss Queen. <laughs> you are on fire. I'm trying, I'm trying to help some of you out. <laughs> Elysia. Good, good, good. Thank you, Harold. <laughs> so, the, uh, the major seven, the seven is always, like I said earlier, is a step before you get to the root note. So that would be A flat or G sharp. Right? And then the nine would be C sharp because why? Why? Because it's the two of B, right? The two of B is what? It's C sharp. There it is. Okay. Now. All right. Challenging you guys. Challenging you guys. All right, everybody except for Patrick. Patrick, you can't answer this. Um, in the key of G, in the key of G, what is the 11? Everybody but Patrick. I should exclude Dante too. Everybody but Patrick. In the key of... <laughs> In the key of G, what is the 11? <laughs> In the key of G, what is the 11? <laughs> ah, Rudy, we got you. <laughs> Ah, uh, look at him. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know Dante was studying. See, Dante didn't tell me that. <laughs> uh, Rudy. Rudy. I didn't, I can't believe you said B. <laughs> uh, oh, Dante said E. Ah, <laughs> uh, Dante said, e. oh, uh, who is this? Pat, you better get him. Pat, you better get him. He said, E. <laughs> it's actually C. <laughs> it's actually C. Right? Because uh, the four is the same thing as the 11. 
the four is the same thing as 11. Boy, Patrick will get you next time you guys are in class. <laughs> get him. Dante's a good player too, man. I'm telling you. Yep. It's the same thing as the four. And the four of G is C. Okay? Is C. So is that that's right. So that would be the eleven. You guys are killing it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> All right. Now let's talk about another chord that I like to play. And I like to play 13s. I think 13s are dramatic chords. Um, they add so much to it, to the music. And I use it quite a bit. So if I'm in the key of A, everybody but Pat, everybody but Pat, y'all have to know that Pat is a professor. Uh, he has a degree in music, so he don't count. He shouldn't be on here answering these questions. <laughs> All right. If I'm in the key of A, what's the 13? What is the 13 if I'm in the key of A? I'm having fun with this today. If I'm in the key of A, if I'm in the key of A, what is the 13? What is the 13? What is that 13? Come on, y'all. I see one. I see an F. I see an F sharp. I see an F sharp. I see an F sharp. I see an F. I see an F sharp. F sharp. <laughs> F sharp, I, I hear you, Pat. <laughs> Rudy said F sharp. Kwame said F sharp. Mr. Red said F sharp. Romarcus said F sharp. Um, I think I had somebody said F on here. I think James said F. Minnie said F sharp. Queen said F sharp. Kwame said F. Elysia said F sharp. See, just like you, I have I have a few students on here. Jeffrey said F sharp. I have a few students on here, Pat, and um, I'm gonna get one of them because one of them got that wrong, and he shouldn't got that wrong. He know he live up in the cold. I'm not gonna call him out like that, but he live up in the cold part of the country right about now, and um, uh, he don't live too too far from you. Uh, uh, Pat, he does it. <laughs> I'm not gonna say who is now. Oh, now he's gonna somebody gonna kind of erase what they wrote at first and then <laughs> and fix it. <laughs> yep. So the 13 would be F sharp. All right. So it's the F sharp because why? It's the same thing as the six. I know you fixed it. <laughs> you better have. <laughs> Um, it's the same thing as the six. So if we're in the key of A, we find the six. One, two, three, four, five, six, right? It's the 13, which is the F sharp, okay? We have the F sharp. <laughs> yeah, Rudy, it is. It is, it is. And it helps. It really does. It helps so much. So when we when we hear that that F sharp um, up top, then we know that we have James. <laughs> we have that thirteen. You know what? And most people they would hear these or see these chords charted out, and it would scare them. But all of it, they just didn't understand that they were still associated with the major scale. And that's why I said that you have to really home in on that major scale because that major scale is everything to music. Every, everything. When you know this stuff, you're able to get this other stuff like the 7, 11, 9s, 11, and 13s because you understand the major scale. You understand how it's built. So playing... If I'm playing two, five, one, and C, right? I'm gonna use the major seven, the C major seven. I'm gonna play the D minor nine. Now you know what the minor, the minor nine is. It's just 
the minor chord with the nine on it, which is what the two of the major scale. And then I'm gonna play a G13. And then back to the one. So we got. See that? So I played all three extensions. I played a seven, a nine, and a 13. These three extensions and the two, five, one. I used a C major seven, which has that, right? It has that note right be before the, the root, which is the B, the nine, which is that two, right? And then we have the 13, which has that six. See that? See that? That's that what? Is that what? Is that E, right? Which is the six. I'm sorry. The 13 is the six of G. <laughs> is the six of G. And then back to the one. See that? It's the six of G. So we have the C major seven. The D minor nine. And then we have the G 13. And then back to the C major seven. And that's using chord extensions. Chord extensions. That's all it is to it. That's the basics of it. Okay, I should say. It's not all it is to it because then you can you can alter those chords by adding different notes and whatnot. But you now have the basic concept of what? The 7, 9, 11, and 13. Okay? Let me ask a few questions before I jump off of here, okay? A few questions. Y'all ready? Get your minds right. Get ready to hit, ask some questions. And I may have, I may have something for um, the person who answers the most uh, correctly. I may do something. I don't know. I'm just thinking, 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 thinking. All right. If I'm in the key of B flat, what is the 13? If I'm in B flat, what is the 13? What note is the 13? If I'm in B flat, what note is the 13? Quickly, let's see who jumps it on it first and get it right. If I'm in B flat, what is the 13 note? No pat, you can't answer. Rudy said G. Ramaka said G. Warren said G. Good to see you, Warren. Donald said G. Alicia said G. Ray said A sharp minor. Anyone else? Minnie said G. Queen said G. Kwame said G sharp. James said G. Lady J said G. Jonathan said G. William said G. Dante said G. correct g is the correct answer boy tomorrow is gonna be fun day for me but somebody have a private lesson with me tomorrow and boy i'm gonna have a ball with them <laughs> that 13 would be g because that is the six of b flat b flat two three four five six which is g that is the 13. When I play the 13 chord. It's the 
chapter 13. Okay. All right. And the key of F, what is the 11? And the key of F, what is the 11? What is the 11? And the key of F, what is the 11? What is the 11? And the key of F. What is the 11? Rudy said B flat. Alicia said B flat. Donald Chapman said B flat. I hope y'all, Romaka said B flat. <laughs> Warren said B flat. Dante said B flat. Many said B flat. <laughs> Tomorrow's Tuesday. <laughs> James said B flat. Queen said B flat. James said B flat. Mr. Red said B flat. Lady J said B flat. Look like everybody's saying B flat. And make sure that everybody said B flat first. Rudy said he was thinking. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Indeed, it is B flat. So remember, it is the four, is B flat. <laughs> okay, man, Dante, thank you for hanging out. Um, we, we only got a few more minutes. I gotta jump off here um, in, a, in a short. <laughs> um, it is correct, the 11 is, is B flat, okay? Um, well, let me just play some stuff and I'll add I'll add those extensions on so you guys will have some reference. <laughs> James said I win. <laughs> okay, here we go. My goodness so everything not everything but most of the chords that I played were chord extensions those had it was either major a major seven um, a minor nine 11 or 13 thank you Patrick thank you thank you thank you thank you any questions before I jump off here? Any questions? Questions, questions, questions. And I'm trying to keep them to these chord extensions. All right. Um, I think you're talking about... Um, I did something like that. Or did I, I play that thing? Let's do it in A. Yeah. I'll do it where you can see it. Hey, Amy. Hey, what's up, Jerry? So if I played it that. So, any more questions? Questions? Got a couple of minutes. You're welcome, Jonathan. Yep. So, but now you know what it is. Now, Jonathan, what did I play? Tell me the chords that I played there. 
See, I, when you when you ask for something, I'm gonna make sure that you know what I did. What are the chords that I play? What are the chords? What are the chords? Come on, give me the chords, Jonathan. Give me the chords. Give me the chords. Give me the chords. I need the chords. Or else I'm going to go back and edit the video and take out that. Uh, 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 Jonathan. No, sir, buddy. No, sir, buddy. Give me the chords. Give me that chord and give me this chord. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Give me this. Give it to me. Y'all, somebody else help him out. Tell him the chords. What was the two chords that I played? What are the two chords that I just played? See, we all go for that ear candy, and sometimes that's a problem. We go for that. Mm -mm. The, the meat of what I played was the two chords. B minor 7, B minor 9. B minor 7 and B minor 9. The ear candy is, that's right, B minor, B minor 7 and B minor 9. Yeah, so the, the, the meat and potatoes of the, the movement isn't the ear candy. It's not, that's, that's cool. That's nothing without the chords. You have to be able to play. That's that B minor 7. And then moving up to the B minor 9. It's important to know this stuff. Listen, thank you guys for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. I look forward to sharing with you every Monday. Um, next Monday, you guys are going to need to be here. You guys are really going to need to be here. I have a surprise for you. I have, woo, I got a surprise that's going to happen next month. Listen, I wish I could say, but I ain't going to say it. I ain't going to tell it. I ain't going to tell it. I ain't going to tell it. And I said ain't too. I'm, I'm being country. I'm living in the Carolinas now. But listen, join me next Monday. 6 to 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I have a special, special, special treat that's going to happen next Monday. So you're going to need to be here. <laughs> you're going to need to be here. You're going to need to be here. You're going to need to be here. Um, thank you so much for viewing. Um, for my new um, comments or people are catching this on replay, please make sure that you like, share, and comment because I like to respond to your comment. I like to know where you're viewing from. I appreciate you guys. This was all about extensions and a lot of you guys got it. And I really, I'm happy, excited that you did. But guess what? It's time for me to get out of here. It's time to go. I hate, I have to go. Yeah.